Hello, and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. I don't know about you, but this summer I have not been to a fair or a festival of any kind, and I need a corn dog ASAP. Authentic carnival corn dogs is kind of hard to say, but they're not hard to make. So today that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Let's get started. For the batter, you will need one cup of cornmeal, one cup of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a cup of buttermilk, one egg, one and a half tablespoons of oil, and a tablespoon of honey. In the bowl, I have a cup of cornmeal. To that, I am going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. What we're doing is we're creating a batter that's between a waffle batter and a pancake batter. Just as a point of reference, add a quarter cup of sugar, our tablespoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And just whisk these together. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now we will combine our wet ingredients. We have one cup of buttermilk, one egg, one and a half tablespoons of oil, and one tablespoon of honey. And if you measure the oil first, the honey will plop right out of the tablespoon. It's a little hack for you. Now we whisk this together. Now if you want to jazz this up, you can throw a little pinch of cayenne pepper in there or some dried mustard or, you know, live it up. Whatever flavors turn you on. But I'm just doing your basic authentic. And now we are just going to combine the wet with the dry. And that is perfect. Now, if it's a little too thick, you can just add a little bit more buttermilk. All right. And now the star of our show, the hot dogs, we are going to skewer them right down the middle. Now on the stove, I have vegetable oil heating to 350 because we're frying these, as I'm sure you know. And before you even put the oil in the pan, you might want to skewer your dogs and make sure that they lie flat in there. And if they don't, I'm going to do this one over. And if they don't, you need to trim your skewers. All right. Now, you want to make sure the hot dogs are dry so the batter will coat them nicely. Pour the batter into a tall glass. And by the way, you can make this batter a day ahead if you so desire. Leave room at the top so when you dip them, it doesn't overflow. And then we just dunk it in swirl it around and you want to make sure that you don't see air pockets if you do dip it again swirl it around some more because um, that will make the batter crack when it hits the oil let's move over to the stove and cook these bad boys up
If you have leftover batter, you can save it in the fridge for a day or two, and you can use it to make corn fritters. That sounds good. So here they are, fluffy, puffy, authentic carnival corn dogs. I'm gonna have these for lunch with a little side of creamy coleslaw. If you like this video, what's that? Ooh, I can almost hear the tilt-a-whirl in the background. No, I can't. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Become a subscriber. I would love to have you back here at home with Anita Rosner. Thanks for watching. Thank you.